Hey guys, it's Mr. Meisters here, and today I'm going to talk about finding the sum of a geometric series. And in this video, I'm really only going to talk about the sum of a finite, a finite geometric series. And a finite geometric series means that it stops, right? So I'm only going to going to do the sum of a certain amount of um, of of the series because uh, we'll talk about infinite ones in an another video. And you're probably going, what? How can you find the sum of an infinite series? It goes on forever. Um, it's it's going to be kind of interesting, okay? So uh, this is an example of where I would kind of use it. Um, you know, we have some rabbits here, and they're going to, um, you know, they're going to multiply by three each time for every four months. So how many rabbits will she have after a year? So what I'm going to do here is just, you know, um, every four months, so I'm going to add up these, the first four ones, and I'm going to get 80 rabbits. But let's see how I add these up using a formula. So here is a geometric series. A geometric series is basically the sum. The sum series means sum, all right? So it's the sum of a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence, again, is if I multiply, right? Here I'm multiplying by 2 each time, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, all right? <clears throat> if I add those numbers together, I get a series. So how do we find the sum of the number of items in a series? Well, we got to use this kind of weird formula here. S sub n equals a sub 1 minus a sub 1 times r to the n minus all over 1 minus r. Now, again, remember, guys, I am not going to have you memorize this. All you got to do is know how to plug the values in to get your answer. And on top of that, I hope you have a calculator ready because you're going to need to use a calculator. These numbers get kind of kind of big. Okay, So in this video, you'll see that I kind of just jumped right to the answer. And the reason for that is because I had to enter it in the calculator. Okay. So um, R here is your common ratio, and you could find it by taking the second term divided by the first term. A sub 1 is your first term, S sub n is the sum, and then n is the number of terms that we are looking for adding together. All right, let's take a look at some examples. So let's take the first one. Find S sub n, find the sum of the geometric series to five terms. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my formula. S sub n equals A sub 1. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, a sub 1 minus a sub 1 times r to the n all over 1 minus r. All right, so let's plug it in. a sub 1 is 81 minus 81 times r, which is negative 2 thirds raised to the n power all over 1 minus r. You notice here I got some fractions. Yep. Just got to deal with fractions, guys. I'm going to plug this in a calculator. And look, just, just remember that you have to use PEMDAS, right? You have to use order of operations. So always do the exponents, then multiply, then subtract. You don't do 81 minus 81 to get 0. That doesn't make any sense. The sum's not going to be 0, guys. All right, we're not going to add these numbers up together and get 0. So you always do multiplication before you do addition and subtraction. I see that error a lot in this class. Uh, uh, I see that mistake happen a lot. From my students. So I'm going to plug this guy in the calculator and I'm going to get 55. All right? So that's my sum of the first five, num uh, first five terms in this series. Let's take a look at another one. Why don't you practice this one here? This is just like what I did. Plug in the calculator, see what you got. What did you get? Did you get? Whoo, look at this guy. See, this is why I say you're going to need a calculator. Negative 3,124 over 27. You can leave it like this, by the way. I don't need a mixed number. If you're in my class, um, I actually like improper fractions better than mixed numbers. All right, find the sum of a geometric series. So we're going to find the sum to six terms. <coughs> so a sub 1 is 54. How do I find r? I take 36 divided by 54, and that gives me 2 thirds when I simplify that out. And now I'm going to use my formula. So S of 6 is A sub 1, which is 54. Okay, let's, if you don't remember the formula, A sub 1, A sub 1, R to the N over 1 minus R, okay, minus 54 times 2 thirds, which is R, raised to the 6th power, all over 1 minus 2 thirds. So it's just a matter of using this formula, okay? Plug that in my calculator. Bada bing, bada boom. Abracadabra, ta da. 1,330 over 9. Okay? All right, let's take a look at another one. Here's a practice one. Why don't you try this? Try this out. 
Practice, 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 practice. Did you get 774? I hope you did. All right, let's take a look at one last example here. All right, fi actually I have two. Find the sum of a geometric series. Now here we're using a um, sigma notation. I'm gonna tell you this, when you have sigma notation for a geometric series, here this number that is raised to the power, this is gonna be your R, okay? So what do we need? We need a sub one, right? A sub one, we're gonna plug in this bottom number in here for N. We're gonna get three times two to the one minus one, which is three times two to the zero, which is three times two to the zero is one. So my a sub one is three. We need to know n. n is the number of terms, right? So n is the number of terms, which is going to be, well, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, then 12. How many is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 terms. All right, we got 12 terms. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our formula. So a sub 12, s sub 12, sorry, is a sub one minus a sub one times r, r was two, to the n, which was 12, over one minus two. All right, plug that sucker in our calculator and we get 12,285, all right? So not too bad, why don't you try one? Take a second here, try this out. Let's see, did you get 16,400? I hope so. Again, guys, calculator, all right? These are big numbers. You're gonna have to use a calculator. All right, last example here. We've got um, a sub one and we have s of eight. Well, you know what we're looking for. Find a sub one is what we're looking for. We don't know what that is, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a formula, s of n equals a sub one times one minus r to the n over one minus r. Now all I did was I factored out that a sub one guys because it's gonna help me out in just a second. So I'm gonna have 765, that's my s sub eight, equals a sub one, I don't know what that is. One minus two to the n, what's n guys? Eight, that's right. Times one minus two. Okay, so I'm gonna do the workout here. 765 equals a sub one, one minus two to the eighth. What's two to the eighth? It's 256. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the negative 1 over. Get negative 765. And then times 1 minus 256 is negative 255. So now how do I solve this? I just divide negative 255 over. Let's divide negative 255 over. Air conditioner coming on, guys. So a sub 1 is negative 765 over negative 255. And again, I'm going to use a calculator and that's gonna come out to three. All right, all right guys, that's it. That's all the examples, all the problems I have for you on finding the sum of a geometric series.